Hey guys, Redrox here from Rocket League Mods. So I'm here today in Maya to show everyone how to properly export your meshes so that they can be used in game. So this process is very simple. So first off, make sure you have under Windows, Settings Preferences, and Plugin Manager. Make sure you have your FBX plugin enabled. Mine is under here, so mine's called fbxmaya.mll. So loaded, auto load, yep, all good. So that makes sure that you can actually export as an FBX. So next up, make sure you open up whatever you're exporting. So let's see, recent files. I need to export this anyway, so I'm going to export my ping pong table. So it's just opening it up now. Here we go. And here's my ping pong table. So. I'm going to highlight, select everything, file, export selection, but I'm going to click this little box. So that brings up the options that I can choose from. The file type, I'm going to go down and find FBX export. So now when I click export selection, this box will come up. Make sure you select smoothing groups and smooth mesh if you want. So UDK wants smoothing groups, so I give it smoothing groups. So find where you want to export it to. So in my Rocket League modding FBX models, I'm going to call it um, ping pong table. Cool. So that's how you export from Maya. Now if I want to then import it into UDK, I just exit. Ah, so Maya takes a while to exit. Just give it a second. There we go. So now I'd open up UDK, and while this is opening, I will also find my mesh, so FBX models, and there it was, it was there. So, you don't have to be in the right scene to import into the package, so I'm just going to go onto my package that I'm going to be using, and click import, and then find my file. So... It is somewhere in here. Ah, oh, there it is. I'm blind. Alright, so mine has a very small file size because it's just a lot of cubes. If I click open, it'll bring it up here. So I don't want to import any materials or anything, so I uncheck all those. Um, it's a static mesh, so I can leave that. And if I click OK, yep, fully load it, that's all good. Okay, and now it's been imported. So my mesh uh, was um, multiple meshes together. So that means that it actually doesn't put them into in the same way. So that in one object, it actually imports them into three different ones because I made them three different ones. So that's my base. That's that. There's my, there's my legs. I'm just dragging them onto the scene in nowhere in particular. So there we go. Everything's in it now. So... If I made this bigger, this would just be a map, so I can texture this, do whatever I want with it, uh, change it into a uh, interactive foliage actor for, to give it collisions if I wanted. Um, there's no real like downfalls of importing your own meshes. Just make sure that you save the map pack. There we go, save the map pack. Otherwise, you won't see it in game. So you have to save the map pack and put the map package in with your map when you put it into your mods folder. So that's all for today.